I'm Rick Alvarez, the writer and producer of Fifty Shades of Black. I've worked with Marlon on Scary Movie, Scary Movie 2, White Chicks, Little Man, Dance Flick, A Haunted House, A Haunted House 2, and a whole bunch of TV. Amazing. So I've always wanted to ask this question. How, how do you go about it when you have an idea? It, does anything ever get shot down? Do you need to ask for rights? from? How, do, how does it initially start? How does, how's the begin? Usually it begins when, when Marlon or myself, we just have an idea for something. It may be if we're going to do a parody, something that's in that pop culture zeitgeist. This is begging to be made fun of. We just bang our heads together and say, this is the one, we gotta do this. And so we sit down, we start pitching out jokes, pitching out ideas. Sometimes we go too far, then we gotta pull each other back. Usually it's Marlon going too far because he's crazy. And Bernardo Saracino. And you're, you, you're in Sicario, one of the best films of 2015, correct? I, I'm biased, but I agree. I think it's one of the best films of the past five years, actually. It's a great movie. It's, it showed up in a lot of people's top 10. Do you know that? Yeah, definitely. It was on a ton top 10 list. And I think I, you couldn't go wrong with the DP and the director alone on top of the cast they assembled. So it's, it was a good it was a good experience. Really good. Yeah. So that's more of a serious film. Yeah. What brings you here to this one? Uh, I, I got invited, but I, uh, I have a show that I'm developing myself with End All Shine that we're shopping around. It's, it's going to be a comedy based show. We, we, at this point, it looks like we're going to move forward with Adult Swim. And so, uh, and the Wayans brothers, I've always been a huge fan since they were, and I still watch old and Living Color reruns. So of course I was like, yeah, yeah. I was so flattered to be able to come. Do they ever age? No, no, I, I don't think they do. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask them to, I'm gonna watch closely what they're drinking just to try to, just try to like copy it a little bit. Uh, yeah, so that, that's my goal. That's another reason I was happy to come. My name is Michael Titus and I'm the director of Fifty Shades of Black. The director's job is to direct, but how do you direct Marlon Wayans? like the weather you know you kind of go with it it's like uh it's that tornado that comes in and you say it's coming for five hours hold on tight were you a fan of the gray film of the what the other film the gray film 50 shades of gray oh 50 shades of gray yes i i am a fan of 50 shades of gray i watched it quite quite a bit i've learned to love it is it true that this one's more loyal to the book it is a little more loyal to the book, you know. We wanted to read the book, so we wanted to give Fifty Shades of Grey fans what they didn't get in Fifty Shades of Grey and find those moments that were really popular moments that, that people were disappointed in. So we wanted to bring that out. What kind of craziness should we be expecting here? These films are always wild. Uh, it's going to be some wild stuff, you know. Uh, there's going to be some skin, a lot of skin hanging out, uh, some pubic hair. Uh, and this is a direct takeoff on the movie, so, you know, we're having a lot of fun with this one. Hi Marlon, what, what kind of craziness are we going to expect from this film? All kinds, um, you name it, it's in there. Do you have an off button? Only in the bedroom. <laughs> and when I'm done. 